Vector spanning sets, multiple choice question. Here we have two interesting questions. I like you to pause the video, copy the question, write down your answer, and then look into my suggestion. Question number three. The set given to us is one zero and minus one zero. This is a set of vectors which cannot span any vector in R2 can span vectors along x-axis, can span vectors along y-axis, and can span R2. So these are the four choices. What do you think? Well, if you see, let me just try to show these vectors. First one is 1, 0. That means the first one is along the x, this direction, right? The second one is minus 1, 0. That is kind of like this, right? Now, if I have two vectors which are along x-axis, then they cannot span R2, but what they can do is they can definitely represent any vector along the x-axis, right? So they can definitely span vectors along x-axis. So that is the option for us, right? So that is how we can figure out the answer. I think that's interesting to note that even if we have a scalar multiple, they can span something they can span collinear vectors, correct? These are collinear vectors and they can span any vector along their own direction. So that is how we have to look into it and understand the concept. Question number four. So here we have vectors in R3. 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, minus 1. This is a set of vectors which can span xy plane, can span yz plane, can span xz plane can span in R3, can span any plane in R3. Well, it could have been in R2. Any plane in R2, right? So let's just make a change, right? Because we already have that option, can span in R3, right? So we have these five options. What do you think? It's important to note that we have 0, 0 here, correct? So, this set of vectors can span only a plane and that to a plane which should not include a change in y, right? So that is x and z plane, right? So do we have this option? Yes, we have. C can span x, z plane. That is what it can span. So we can have linear combination of vectors in x, z plane which could be represented by these two spanning sets of vectors, right? The spanning set of vectors. So that is how we need to understand and see these spanning sets. I hope you understand the concept and appreciate it. Thank you.